Gentlemen and ladies, I'll be live on Twitch sometime after this video goes up. Hope to see you there. Let's have a good old time. All right, peace. Gentlemen and ladies, it is time for some new Big Tuna content. Today, we are taking our first look at the new talent tree that is coming in 10.0.7. You saw, you saw the changes. Maybe you're hyped. Maybe you're a little bit, you know, in the slums because it's not something that you really wished for. But you know what? Changes are changes and only positive can come from this so let's take a look at what our new talent tree is going to look like and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let's get started so you can obviously see here that it looks a bit different all right this is what our talent trees look like currently and this is what our talent tree is going to look like now all this stuff is mainly in our general talent tree only only like a one ability has been switched around from our actual spec tree to the general talents all right but you know, let's kind of just uh, let's 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 try, let's try the experience here. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna put talents into stuff that I normally am gonna take. I already kind of have my uh, my general kind of you know spiel for this. So all along the way, we'll kind of explain you know certain stuff if you never really caught on. But if you don't know what the changes are, you link is in the description if you want to see for yourself. But I'll briefly show it just right now. Take a screenshot, look at it for two seconds because that's gonna be how long it's gonna stay up there. Now let's get back to the actual video. So. You can already see here certain stuff doesn't go into certain nodes anymore which is unfortunate like for example you gotta take chain heal in order to take earth shield that's probably the biggest change out of all of this all right why because it's pretty crap um for the sole purpose that chain heal just sucks for pretty much every spec even for restoration shaman it just stinks now why does it stink why it just doesn't heal um in the, in the eyes of you know enhancement shaman and elemental shaman it just doesn't heal for anything it's like why is it even in this tree if it's like if it's never gonna see any bit of use at all i wouldn't mind if this was a case of going into chain heal to take earth shield and elemental orbit if chain heal actually healed if chain heal healed for like an actual good amount let's say let's say if this was kind of like your off-brand chain harvest from shadowlands obviously not going to heal for as much as chain harvest but you know like a good 80 percent amount that chain harvest actually healed for maybe be incorporated into chain heal because the max amount of healing surges you can get off is five, all right? And a lot of other hybrids have multiple abilities to heal with. Paladins have Flash of Light and Word of Glory. Druids have Rejuvenation, Swiftman, and Regrowth, which, you know, and Renewal, uh, Frenzied Regeneration. They have multiple abilities to actually heal with, whereas Enhancement Shaman only has Healing Surge. That's about it. So if they made Chain Heal, tune it up a bit to actually make it, an, you know, an actual ability that can be used within your healing breakdown. That would be really good. So, obviously, it would have to be like a, in the sense of, it would have to cost more mana. If it is going to cost Maelstrom Weapon, it has to cost more mana because if it's going to heal for a lot, then you have to have a downside to it, much like, you know, some stuff in WoW. And the downside of this is that it costs a lot of mana. You can get about three chain heals before going completely oom. Um. So, they actually made chain heal heal a lot or had a different effect. Hey, maybe every target hit by chain heal takes increased healing, you know, from all sources for you know 10 seconds or hey for every maelstrom weapon you spend on chain heal reduce the damage the targets take that that are affected by chain heal by two percent for every maelstrom weapon you spend so 20 percent damage reduction for six seconds i don't know maybe something like that but you know tune it up a bit if it's if it's gonna stay in the talent tree then you got it you have to you have to work around this because this talent is just the most dead talent like any one of these passives would be much better uh, right here than chain heal all right and that's saying something, these passives are absolutely horrible. The standard stuff, you gotta take Lava Burst for two charges, Wind Shear, yeah, you need that. Earth Elemental, if you wanna run without Earth Elemental, you can, it is an option, but I mean, I've only ran without Earth Elemental like twice in my Dragonflight career, and honestly, it didn't make a difference. I still died either way, with or without Earth Elemental, all right? So, if you wanna run without it, maybe you could, but Let's take a look at our other one, which is our Astral Shift modifiers. So Astral Shift now lasts 12 seconds and still two minute cooldown. So you're wondering, well, what does Plains Traveler do now? Plains Traveler just reduces the cooldown of, of Astral Shift by 30 seconds. You know, pretty, pretty okay, I guess, CDR. But Astral Bulwark, you read this, Astral Shift reduces damage taken by an additional 20%. That is a 60% wall. Now, of course that sounds good on paper, but you gotta realize like there are a lot of stuff that sounds amazing like let's say like a 60 percent wall but um usually when it makes it to live a lot of abilities like that don't really help the class in any way shape or form and it's just like kind of it was just something that just really sounded nice on paper but with how the class or how the spec is just designed overall it just doesn't really make a difference 
Um, it really just seems here that Blizzard is trying to full send it with Astral Shift. The reason why Astral Shift is bad is not because it's, you know, the damage the damage reduction you have is bad. Like, no, 40%. Like, 40% wall is, like, the standard wall within the game. All right, it is the standard wall. Some classes have 30% walls with a shorter CD. Other classes have, you know, 50% plus walls, that which are usually on three-minute CDs. So it, it's not it's not the fact that, you know, Astral Shift is bad because of the damage reduction or the duration or the cooldown. No, it's just the fact that it's your only it's your only defensive. Other classes have multiple defensives with other unique effects to them, you know? They have other ways to respond to respond to high pressure. Sorry if my if I slouch on words or I choke on some stuff, all right? I'm not I'm not feeling too well. Alright. But Astral Shift is really bad just because it's your only defensive it's your only way to respond to pressure which even then you're still going to die through so because you really you have nothing outside of astral shift so they're really trying to full send it with you know with this being our main cd you know by choosing by you know pretty much removing the secondary effect of playing straddler and baking it into the normal ability and of course you know beefing up that ancestral bulwark or astral bulwark so so you know i'll take astral bulwark just for the memes Ghost Wolf is also another thing that got changed. The so Spear Wolf with Thunder's Paws. Thunder's Paws now removes snares and gives you 25% increased movement speed for 3 seconds whenever you do enter Ghost Wolf with a 20 second CD. That is nice. Before it was 60 seconds, which was really bad. That was a long, that was a long cooldown for something pretty, you know, that's, I'd say it's pretty just like, okay, I guess. But now it's 20 seconds, it actually, it'll actually make Ghost Wolf a lot more impactful. Ghost Wolf is just something that is just there to look cool for class fantasy. Um, it's not used for mobility. If you try and just chase someone down with Ghost Wolf, you gotta constantly hop in and out of Ghost Wolf to place down your totems, your frost shocks. You gotta hop back into Ghost Wolf. You're just blowing so many bloody globals, just trying to get into Ghost Wolf and trying to reach this target. Like it, it's not even worth it at that point. All right, because Spirit Lunge is gonna be back up any minute now, so it's gonna stink. I do like Spirit Wolf because Spirit Wolf, you know, just 20% damage reduction, 20% movement speed goes a long way when you're getting trained by melee. And you need to kite sometimes. Really good. But honestly, I'm really excited to stop Thunder's Paws. So you have an Astral Wolf Affinity. If you don't know, this got changed. As you can clearly see, it used to be right here in this talent node uh, between healing, ref between refreshing waters and Astral Wolf Affinity. But Blizzard finally came around and was like, you know what? It's in a pretty odd space. It needs to be in the sh general shaman tree. I say this all the time. There are just a lot of abilities within your general tree, much for a lot of other specs or a lot of other classes out there that don't fit right. Vice versa, certain talents being in your main, uh, in your spec tree, being just here doesn't seem right, so it needs to be moved to your shaman tree, you know, or your general tree. It's all the same. It doesn't fit right, so I'm glad Blizzard is kind of booming them around. Like again, why is why is Mushroom Weapon and Flurry here? Um, why is Spirit Walker's Grace here? You know, it's pretty directed towards towards one towards one spec, one or two spec. So it's like it doesn't make sense for it to be in the shaman tree. But you know what? Roll with it, I guess. We kind of have to. All right. So yeah, Astral Affinity is now within our shaman tree. Cool, Coolio. All right. Uh, Matrix Fury. I'm I'm gonna take stuff that I just normally take. So unfortunately, these two have are just still here. Two two talent nodes for each one of these is really bad. Um, Critical strike chance for your nature spells and abilities. Okay, I guess it's just extra crit. Um, you know, it's not what we're really made for or built for, unless you're an enhancement or elemental shaman. Uh, Winds of Alec here, just really bad. Increase your movement speed of Ghost Wolf by 10%. And when you have three or more totems active, your movement speed is increased by 15%. Um, you're not going to have three totems active because they're all going to get killed instantly. So if it was every totem, for every totem you have active, increase your movement speed, maybe. All right, but is this going to stay here again? Much like a lot of other talents, if they're going to stay within our within our tree, you, you got to switch them up. Or, okay, you, you got to switch them up. Okay, because it's just really bad, it's, especially for two talent points. Not the greatest. All right, got to take hex, sort of projection, nature's guardian, thunderstorm. And you can see here, improved lightning bolt is gone. So lightning bolt just deals 20% increased damage for all specs. Um, but improved lightning bolt's gone, so it's not a buff. It's just your default damage is is 20 percent now all right so you could choose so now that that's gone you can choose thunderstorm and lightning lasso a bit easier so you can save a bit of talent points surging shields always got to pick that it's like probably the best talent within this entire tree um you can pick nature's guardian or, or sorry ancestral guidance with no really trouble at all um you can go into tremor totem you can go into earth grab totem 
all right so cool 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 and this is gonna be what i'm gonna be running the most i don't really care for half of this stuff these minute passives i guess just don't really matter to me um obviously depending on like the comp um what you're facing it's gonna be pretty interesting like for example if i'm facing something with the resto shaman and you know my healer can't cleanse curses then i would need to get cleanse spirit in order to cleanse hexes off myself or not on myself because i'm in the hex um off my healer or off my other dps and that's gonna be rough because i mean i kind of like all this stuff um i really do like all this stuff so it's like how are you gonna get this you know what i'm saying i like ancestor guidance um but it's just one of those abilities where i don't like it in the sense of i just think of how it was before and how much better it was and seeing it nowadays is just really sad um, back then, it used to be 40% of the damage you did, and 60% of the healing you did was converted to healing to heal up to three of your other, other party members. So it was just way better than just 25% of your damage and healing. Like when you you pop astral shift or sorry ancestral guidance nowadays, and you're not really healing your HP is not going up. Your HP is actually going down, just a little bit slower. All right, so in, instead of dying in you know five seconds, you'll die in 10 seconds. Okay, you you slowly reduce the time of death with Ancestor Guidance, all right? And it's usually not even your top healing either. Like, usually when I use it, um, it just gets blown out the water by something like Earth Shield, depending on how long the game is. So, it's unfortunate, but you know what? It's still it's still overall good ability, and the fact that you can take this without really any real issue, then it's really great. Again, I'm gonna tell you guys, I hate anything. Like, I hate a lot of stuff in WoW. Uh, spammable, spam, spammable fears, spammable polys, all right? Um, roots that just don't break, fears that don't break. Um, passive hp for just no reason for almost every spec in the game i honestly just hate it but you know what since we have it and we can pretty much access it with with ease this is what we're gonna you know be seeing here at least this is what i'm gonna be seeing because i i just find this to be you know what's more comfortable with me because this is basically just my build that you are normally run but obviously with certain stuff being changed around also <clears throat> also got to change out what i what i got so Nothing in the enhancement shaman tree, everything is pretty much just the exact same. Um, nothing really different other than the fact that, again, like I said in the beginning, um, Ancestor Wolfinity is now in the general tree, so that means you have to choose between your Friction Waters and Focus Insight, because Focus Insight used to be where Brimming, Brimming with Life is, is going to be right now. So, yeah, Refreshing Waters or Focus Insight. Refreshing Waters or Healing Surge is, is 25% more effective on yourself. That's cool. And you have to choose focus inside. Casting Flame Shock reduces the mana cost of your next deal by 20% and increases its healing by 30%. So, this is going to be rough because obviously your healing is going to be nerfed because you used to be able to have both both of these abilities, but now you got to pick one. Friction Waters is just you save a global like it's just it's just passive 20 percent healing on you okay cool but focus insight if you're not the target uh, you know which is <laughs> which is a wild wild assumption that you're not going to be the target um in arena then <laughs> then uh you know you, like that's it's a wild assumption but you know if you're not really going to be the target and if you're really going to be focusing on off healing then you could use focus insight because you're going to be using flame shock either way you know whenever you just don't have any other ability, abilities to press so if you're focused on off healing then focus insight is going to be better just because it's just more healing and it is mana reduction but for yourself for you're going to be the kill target 99 percent of the time refreshing waters is still going to be the um the go-to here but yeah this is pretty much what i'm just looking at currently nothing changed with our honor talents unfortunately this is all just kind of general move arounds reach arounds all right a good old reach around um and just certain abilities being tweaked a bit all right but yeah this is pretty much what i'm gonna be rocking with um obviously depending on what i'm facing i'm gonna have to switch up certain stuff but general talents for what i'm always gonna run and is gonna be my my default preset this is what i'm looking at all right this is what i'm looking at and you know what if something does change then i'll be the first one to uh you know to check it out but boys the video is now closed and cool for you all you had an amazing day links in the description if you want to see more big tuna and of course you got to follow twitch.tv slash big oops <laughs> that's not my that's my that's not my url my url anymore you got to follow twitch.tv slash big tuna 67 all right i'm streaming there nowadays so if you want to catch me live ask me some questions vice versa all right maybe i'll ask you questions maybe i'll put you on the spot maybe i'll interrogate you on your past crimes your criminal your criminal record because you're watching big tuna so you're obviously a piece of shit human but you know the video is closed and hope you all will see a beautiful sunset today and i'll see you guys in the next life peace oh and of course like comment subscribe
to this to this video all right and my channel all right you gotta all right now laters hopefully i see you guys in the next life peace you